you're between the ages of 25 and 35, there's almost no chance that you haven't seen at least one of the RoboCop movies. It was one of the more beloved cult franchises, even though it was a short-lived franchise, still had a huge following, and, and to this day, you can watch any of those movies and get a good kick out of any of them, partly because they're so bad they're good in a way. Uh, the one-liners never stop. Um, there have been some also some pretty cool games back in the day. Uh, one of my favorites was RoboCop vs. Terminator. I don't know if you remember that one, but I sure do. One of my favorite things to play when I was younger. But right now we have a game called RoboCop Rogue City, which was originally supposed to release uh, back in September, but that was pushed to November 4th, and I think that's partly why we're getting a full demo now just recently. And uh, this is a huge demo, actually, as far as the size of the file is concerned. It's 44 gigabytes, which is enormous for a demo. And there's you can basically play the entire game without any kind of restrictions. You just play it to a point. So the entire game is available to you up to a certain point. This is story-driven, but it's also open world to some extent, sort of linear, linear open world um, abilities. And... Of course, plenty of one-liners. So we're, let's take a look at it today. We'll see how we feel about it. Thanks for stopping in. RoboCop Rogue City. Let's see what we got here. Yes, new campaign. Just start with normal, see where we're at. So we're not going to watch this whole thing. This is a little intro video. Um, one thing I will say, though, is... You are reminded that this is a smaller studio with maybe not quite the same amount of technology that AAA studios will have at their disposal. Um, the pl character models aren't the best, and obviously you can tell the, the voices don't quite match up to the mouths, but let's not get too worked up and too focused on that. One thing that stuck out to me right away was even though, I mean, knowing that this is being done by a pretty small studio, um, they did a pretty good job with atmosphere here. It looks pretty nice. Now, performance is a little bit of an issue, but they do have options for DLSS, uh, FSR, and Intel XESS, which you're going to probably have to use one of them uh, to make this game run sort of smooth. Granted, this is a demo, so I would expect opt optimization to be a little bit better with the full version. Don't know that for sure, but you would like to hope that. Um, but once I used... Uh, I, I went with NVIDIA DLSS because that's I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card. Once I went with that, I got it to run pretty smooth. I mean, there were still little hiccups here and there, but it was absolutely more than playable and felt pretty darn good. So they obviously got the rights to a lot of the movie because, I mean, this that's the real actress's face model for the movie. I mean, I could, I could tell you that just by looking at it. Oh no! So this this is the begin. This is basically the beginning of the first movie, I think, isn't it? Maybe the beginning of the second movie. <laughs> uh. Wanted, Anthony Harris, $2 reward? Uh, Jimmy Smits? All in all, this demo being as big as it is was really nice, but you're really gonna enjoy this game 
if you have some old nostalgia for the RoboCop franchise in general, the $49.99 price tag for this when it does come out might be a bit high for some people. However, this game has shown me that there will be a lot more involved in it than I really ever expected there might be. So it's really going to depend on how much do you love RoboCop or how much do you love feeling like you're younger than you are right now. I think if you're into nostalgia and you're into a good shoot 'em up with some nice leveling up and a fairly good looking game in general, this might be for you. Check out the free demo on Steam right now. The full game will be coming out November 4th on PC and next gen. I'm your older than average gamer. Thanks for stopping by today. We'll see you next time.